Hey, welcome back to Average Joe's Garage. Uh, today, we're going to start a little project here. We're actually getting into some car things. So, like I said, actually we'll get started on some car stuff here. Um, sort of. It's a car, not quite what I had in mind, but, you know need things to do and content beggars can't be choosers besides i'm doing this person a favor and they're going to do me a favor in return so i mean this is just a nothing i ain't doing nothing fancy here but i need the Cadillac converter they provided the parts and everything i just gotta make it happen cleared out shop here a little bit to get started on it uh, I'll get her uh, up in the air here and assess the situation. Uh, and we'll get, I might actually soak some fasteners and things. Might let it actually sit overnight, I'm not sure yet. Depends on how things look under there. But, yeah, it ain't quite, you know, something old school and old school and cool but something's better than nothing and who knows maybe you know leave it up to you the viewers you might like this kind of stuff me personally i like working on older stuff but i can work on all of it most of the time so i'll get to that i go shop cat bear he's hungry anyway so yeah i'm gonna get started on this well, we're back. Got it up in the air here. Man, these newer cars are a pain to find the lifting spots and places to put jack stands. But it seems to be on there all right. And I guess I got enough room to work. I don't think he's gonna squash me. I'll have some extra support just in case. Anyway, it'd be nice to have a lift, but, you know, money and things. Um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and try to lube some things up before I tear into this. Because as some of you probably know, most of you maybe, exhaust fasteners and things usually get pretty corroded, especially from heat. So I'm gonna spray some blaster on this. And that O2 sensor going in the side of that. If I can hit it. Uh, anyway. I had to figure out what I'm doing there in the middle because that's where it's got to connect to the muffler. I'd rather not be trying to weld it on the car or put a clamp there because I feel like it would want to weight everything. It would want to split there in the middle and cause stress and it'd just be a recurring problem. Well, anyway. So as time goes on here and I let this stuff sit a little bit. I mean, the whole exhaust system might end up coming off just so I can do this good. But, uh, yeah, that's where we are here. I'll let that soak a while. Maybe even overnight. Since I got a few days here to work on it. Ain't like a rush thing. But, uh, yeah. So, that's where we stand right now. And everything. I guess this thing's good to be under. My jack stand seems to be alright. It's on the inner frame rail. Body frame rail, whatever you want to call it. These unibody cars are, they ain't like the old ones. But I got everything under solid areas. And everything seems to be good. So, alrighty. 
Hey, welcome back to Average Joe's Garage. Uh, left this thing sit overnight. PB blaster on all the downpipe bolts and O2 sensor here. Guess I'm gonna take this and put a little heat to it. Um, see if I can get that loose. Once I get that loose and removed, I'll try them, the uh, downpipe bolts there. I think I might have a plan on how I'm going to do this. Hopefully after I do that, that'll all drop down. I can be just drop down far enough to work on it. Cut the old one off. Uh, bolt the new one back. Bolt the new one up there enough to mock up what to do with the end, that end there in the middle. And then, you know, should be able to figure it out from there. Yikes. Yeah, Holy crap. Okay, I think I'm gonna take another approach to this. I'm gonna have to take it off with that oxygen sensor and now hopefully I can fish the uh wire out and take a 10 millimeter out there it runs up inside the car actually the first one i've seen like that not up under the hood it's like up kind of behind the center console up through the floor there i already unhooked it there yesterday evening um hopefully I, maybe i can fish that down through there and set up the plug and everything out here and on that because I ain't got a lot of room down here to try to get that tight bolt out because that's tight as hell or not bolt sensor I mean I don't even know how you do with that short tool they have for that but I've always done it with wrenches so. I'll see if I can get this out of here and then I'll come back to you <clears throat> Well, I got the plug out from inside. Wasn't as hard as I thought. Just grommet there going through the floor, up into the, behind the uh, center console area. I said, first time I've seen an oxygen sensor had to go up inside the car, but first time for everything. Now I'll take this 10 millimeter out and get it on there. Alright. Put it back 
back in there loosely so we don't lose them. Pipe bolts. That's whatever. finally get it off up there at the flange it took some finagling and a few choice words uh, stop filming there just to focus more on this and phone falling down where I had it propped and worried about that so you didn't want to see you probably didn't want to see me struggle with that anyway it just took some crying and uh floor jack to hold up the exhaust some and eventually ended up just dropping the whole thing uh, I did get it off I got the new one here trying to measure figure out where to cut it before I break out the sawzall uh, yeah, just planning out my way of going about doing this old one obviously has a shield on it but that don't matter once I get that off there, I'll work on getting that out O2 sensor off. Um, <clears throat> the old gasket, exhaust gasket, no worse for the wear. Felt sure I'd boogered up pretty good taking it off. Which kind of concerned me at first because I thought it, I didn't get a, they didn't bring a gasket with it, but I looked in the box and there's a new one. So I think I'll worry about that. Anyway, I'll get on, uh, <sighs> guess I'm gonna figure out where to cut this thing. So. Alrighty. Okay, so I made a marker with paint marker about where I wanna cut this, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess cut this thing off. I really wish it would have bolted there too. That would have been nice, but no, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? So let me get on that somehow. It won't cut straight, never does. Be surprised if it does. heated this once up here and then doused it in a PB blaster I'm gonna heat it again here and attempt to uh, see if I can get it loose alrighty
That cool down a little bit. And I'll be able to take that out of there and clean her up. All right, next day, Saturday. Uh, developments. I was going to mock this up off camera there, where I was in the process of it, and trying to do it under the car, and then uh, I was halfway there, about to put the uh, hangers back on the exhaust to get everything in the position it's going to be permanently so I knew where to tack weld this up here um, then I realized I don't know I didn't notice it sooner there's a flange piece back there with two uh, bolts or whatever you want to call them with nuts so now I have to figure out one of those since it decided to snap but hopefully I have that in house because I have something that'll work and because I don't have the money to go to the hardware store to get anything and not that you need to hear about my problems but anyway and the vehicle owners are not in town at the moment I'm trying to have us wrapped up before they get back from their vacation so, I'm gonna, I guess, I have the converter bolted up under there, because like I said, I was gonna do it under the car. But now I guess I'll unbolt that, try to get it out here, and, uh, oh yeah, and probably just spot weld it on out here, you know, nothing permanent, just to make sure everything's positioned right, and get it up in there fit it all loose like or something before I decide to make anything permanent make sure everything goes together right like it should <clears throat> just gonna be a bunch of back and forth probably which I probably won't film most of uh, just because it's difficult till I get a better way of doing this but I'm trying to show the important parts of what I can uh, yeah, so that's where we stand there. And alrighty, I'll get back to messing with this. Uh, I'm, I'll probably film where I'm doing any welding or anything like that, so. But let me tear this converter back off the downpipe up here and get that all in place, and I'll be back. Okay, I think I got an idea how it goes. I think I got it pretty close. I'm gonna put a tack or two on here just to hold in everything together. Then I'll go try it on under there and see what lines up where. It might take a hot minute, but we'll see what happens. back so far everything looks like it's gonna fit okay and you know all the hangers factory hangers are gonna uh, factory hangers are gonna line up close close enough to use the to slide that rubber where it needs to go try to get a shot of it here so that's good 
I check back there where that other flange is, where it hooks to the muffler, which is laying out there. I gotta work on. Um, that's close. That's pretty much an area it needs to be. So I'm thinking it'll go right on once I go to do it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back off. Finish welding that on. Like I said, I'm pretty confident that everything's good, so I should be able to just weld it as a barrel in there good. And then once we get this all mounted back up in here again, I'll uh, fix that stud on that exhaust flange, which I figure out what I'm going to do, I think. It won't even require getting a new bolt or anything. So I'll show that then when I get there. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Be right back. job I and mean, it's just kind of welds piled on weld and trying to close up every opening hopefully it don't leak nowhere cooler if I, you know for me to turn out like that some days you can some days you can't I know all you uh, professional master welders out there who criticize it. Sure, I invite the negative comments. You people amuse me. But anyway, sometimes the ugly welds work. 
Alrighty, so that's where we're at there. I'm gonna get this gas mounted back up in there. Then I'll get back to you. Well, actually, first, no. I'm gonna fix this downpipe fastener. Cause that nut was actually supposed to come off that stud, but I think it binded up in there, so I'm gonna play with it here. Hope these threads ain't messed up. And then I'll put it back up in there. Then, you know, I might film that part putting it back in. I'm not sure yet. Just hard to do things under a card, but I'll figure it out once I get this figured out. Alright, well, I'm getting this on here. You're watching me struggle. Um, kind of figured this out. I think there's a little bit of threads messed up, but I think with a few other Duggars I can run it on. Only option I got right now, so. So that's in place. O2 sounds to be the last thing I do, probably. I'm gonna focus on the rest of this exhaust first. So there's that. So here's the uh, stud that came out of this flange. If you're back here at the muffler, and I could probably find a bolt and nut, maybe. But so it's a pretty clean removal there i think i can clean that end up a little bit and smooth it out stick it back in that hole enough and then just bolt it back on first i think i'm gonna try to get this crummy nut off here it's seen better days and i got something here that'll work anyway so see what i can do there all right got it here in the vise let's see if i can uh this off here. Remember, heat is your friend. Don't know if I got this to ever turn at all or if it just turned out of there. Hot. 
<laughs> oh, this is going to be difficult, ain't it? Someone need to buy strips. Speaking of vice grips, and I ain't gotta tell you all hell, you probably already know. Go check out old Vice Grip Garage channel. Been doing this stuff for a good while and he's pretty good he's pretty good people. Counting on just another one of the other channels that influenced me to get into doing this stuff. I mean, I've always done this stuff, just not on YouTube. But go check them out if you don't already know, which if you don't, you've been living under a rock. But anyway, see if I can get this off here somehow. Okay, well, I couldn't save that stud over there in the vise. It just didn't want to come off. And I got tired of fighting with it. So I did find an older, you know, some old in my stash of you know things people most time throw away you should keep everything pretty much as soon as you get rid of it you need it and anyway but no framing so i found another i guess it's, it's either 7 16 or half inch stud whatever it is i ain't really measuring uh found you know nut in the washer to fit it this should work just fine but what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and weld, put it through here. Yeah, tried to clean out that flange the best I could, but kind of hard to get anything in there. So yeah, I'm just going to weld that in there. And voila, that'll be fixed. It'll just be different from the other one, but it'll do the job. So yeah, give me a bit. Well, I think I'm welding without gas now, so there's that. It finally worked out there, didn't it? If I had to make it sooner, it would have sucked. Maybe I can get this good enough for now. Well, it ain't pretty. I think I might be running out of gas or something, I'm not sure. But it's on there. I think it'll do the job. So 
Yeah, now I can just start putting this stuff all back together. Alrighty. Alright, I guess we're in the home stretch with this thing. Go ahead and put this O2 sensor back in. I cleaned it up some and the wire wheel and some other things. And I uh, guess I'll go ahead and pop this back in here. <coughs> anti-seize on this on these threads that way it ain't a pain in the rear to get out later <clears throat> also try not to get it on myself which anyone who works on things knows apparently impossible so I had to clean off some of that excess too so, uh, we're ready to put this back in here. Just back on there. Put the right ten mil on there. Just back up through this hole here. This grommet and all. It's still weird how they do that. It's the first one I've ever seen like that. And again, I don't work on a lot of new stuff. As far as really? depth things. I'm used to really working on old stuff. Not that I can't fix newer stuff, I just enjoy old stuff better. Alright. That's good there. I think everything under here is done. I don't think I'll go back over anything. Alright. Now I'm going to show you where this plug goes up inside the car. Comes up right there. And it goes back behind here. Try to show you best I can here. Phone. So, as far as I can tell and remember, all 
don't see no other wire up in here nowhere. So I'm pretty sure it plugs in right there to that. That's where that goes. All I gotta do is put this carpet back down, panel back on, and door sill. Then I guess we'll try this out. Well, she's back together, sewing jacks and everything. Uh, I guess we're just gonna start this thing and see what happens. Kind of weird noise coming from it. Good. Got an engine light, which it had before, but I'm still going to check that. Try that again. Now it sounds decent. No weird noise. Maybe it just has to burn the new one in or something. I don't know. Sounds good to me. I'll test drive it once I get her down off the jacks. So far, I'm happy with it. All right, yeah, so I'll get this down off here and test drive it. I don't know if I'll take you all along on that, but probably won't be much, probably won't be that eventful, so. But all right, I'll be back. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and see what this check engine light's all about. OBD2 port right here, behind this cover I already took off. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up. Now I ain't got no fancy big dollar stuff, just regular old one of them deals. But you can clear codes, it don't do nothing too crazy, I guess you could say. if you can see this or not. Damn. Cord. Alright. Sure, we're gonna say yeah. Random misfire. Eight. Oh, misfire. I don't know if that has anything to do with the converter. But I was going to clear this for him, but I think I'll let it alone. They can, you know, decide what they want to do there. Oh, that could be a, you know, that could be coal packs. Who knows? I mean, I could try just clearing it out, but it might come back. All right. Yeah. I guess if it comes back, they know they got a problem. All righty. Well, the Hyundai is no longer in the garage. That is done as far as I'm concerned. Uh, test drove it. Kind of gave off some funky smells. But I think one of them was a sticker that was still on the converter that I peeled off. Uh, I think the rest is just the new converter getting broke in. It still sounds like it got a little noise or exhaust noise. I can't remember. I didn't run it enough beforehand to notice how it sounded before. I always you know, the owner when they come get it, what they think. They may look at it some more or not, but it's not all, it's not all bad. It seems, I mean, it still sounds pretty quiet, but it just, I noticed it more under acceleration, but I couldn't find nothing, so. I'm thinking if it's anything, probably farther up around the flex pipe that the uh, front flange mounted to. Could be somewhere up that way, because it almost sounds farther towards the front. But it might have been there before and I just didn't notice. But other than that, it's all back together and I'll just let them know when they can come get it. Like I said, this is just kind of a buddy deal favor. I do that work, they're gonna they're gonna give me a service on my vehicle. Uh, a little bit of a uh, custom touch. Nothing, nothing anybody else isn't doing, but just things I've mean to do to my truck that they're better at. So I took that deal. Anyway. Till next time, do I have another project? This is Average Joe. I'll see you later.